the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. The third key, according to scripture, that controls the manifestation of the glory of God is called faith the obedience of faith John chapter 11 and verse 40 there is a relationship between believing and the glory of God please read with me John 11 and verse 40 one to read Jesus said unto her the woman now saith I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe thou should see there is a connection between the manifestation of the glory of God and your faith what is faith faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction on who God is and the integrity of his person the name given to the action you take as a testament that you believe God is called faith Faith is also the participatory condition that you have to meet connected to the blessing that you desire. Faith. The Bible says now faith is. That is the first information it gives us about faith. Hebrews 11. Now faith is. Faith is not was. Faith is not will be. Faith is living and active and present. Now faith is. He calls it the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. He says, for by it the elders obtain a good report. Verse 3 says, through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. Media, are we walking together? Verse 3. It says, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear by faith. Can I tell you this? You want to see the manifestation of the glory of God on your life? You are going to have to believe God and take that step. You want to see God build the church for himself through your hands? You are going to have to take a step of faith. Even if all you have is 100,000, go and buy sharp sand and pour it on the ground as a sign of faith. All you need to do to finish is make God become Alpha. Because if he's Alpha, he must also be Omega. Don't ask God to be Omega over what you have not made him Alpha over start with him you want to pray for the sick you must have the courage to stand before a sick body believing that God will raise him from the bed of affliction you know I share humorously I have prayed for many many dead people in my life many dead people in my life usually when people die people reach me first before they eventually make up their minds to bury them I have been locked in the mortuary left with dead bodies alone to pray for them that is the price to carry the glory if you ever will raise a dead body you must have the courage to stand before one I remember the first time I was taken to the anatomy lab then in Zaria and there were dead bodies there and they just closed me there. I said, now, there are dead bodies here. Which one am I going to pray for now? And they showed me the man. I stood before the man and he was like stone. Had been embalmed already. I laid my hands. I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, I call you back. Nothing happened. In the name of Jesus, I call you back. Nothing happened. In the name of Jesus, I call you back. Nothing happened. And I said, open the door for me, please. Let me get out of this place. But can I tell you this? Every time you take a step of faith, whether you see results at that moment or not, you will never live the same. 
your fears will die listen today you hear all of these wonderful testimonies can i be honest with you it did not start from one many people will lie to you and make it look as if everything started from day one it's not true once upon a time i prayed for someone on a wheelchair i remember i was full of faith i took out time to share scripture i mean a thorough exegesis of the healing ministry of jesus and they had faith they honored me so much when i got to the house that man had faith i know he had faith and after all that gisting all that praying now it was time for performance and i prayed for this man absolutely nothing happened he was not even feeling anything from waist down and after praying ah i said why now but i left encouraged peter's shadow does not just start healing the sick uh -uh. once upon a time he was disappointed also and jesus said don't worry you are a student in the school of the spirit you just continue let me bring you words of hope there are times that you may seem to release your faith and not see the manifestation as yet don't be discouraged don't be discouraged one day it will do you like a dream you will stand before that man on the wheelchair and say stand up and you will join the people to be surprised when it happens can I tell you this your faith will not grow in theory you need to be exposed to real life situations faith you must learn to believe God if you want to see the glory of God John chapter 2 the whole text is from verse 1 to 11 but then the verse of emphasis for the sake of time is verse 11 please give us verse 11 we have to start praying please read with me believers after turning water to wine here's what he said this beginning of miracles did jesus in the cana of galilee and manifested forth his glory wow so one of the ways that we manifest the glory of god is in miracles signs and wonders last scripture mark chapter one let's see how jesus came as a revelation and the manifestation of the glory of god mark chapter one let's start our reading from verse 21 please pay attention jalingo pay attention body of christ and they went into capernaum he says and straightway on the sabbath day he entered into the synagogue and taught they were astonished at his doctrine for he taught them as one with authority and not as the scribes and there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit uh -huh. a statement mocking the integrity and the power and the glory of god and cried out 24 saying let us alone what have we to do with thee thou jesus of nazareth art thou come to destroy us i know thee who thou art the holy one of god verse 5 Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold your peace, come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had turned him, he cried out with a loud voice, and he came out of him. The Bible says they were all amazed, in so much that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority commanded he even unclean spirits, and they do obey him please go to verse 32 go to verse 32 the bible says at evening just like it is in this crusade now in jalingo when the sun did set they brought to him every time people discern that you are a carrier of god's glory they will come to you they will come to you they brought to him all that were diseased and them that were possessed with devils and all the city was gathered at the door the plan was not to have a crusade jesus was just teaching but because of the manifestation of the glory the whole city said come we have discerned that the glory of god is within reach 
the bible says and he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases and cast out many devils and suffered not the devils to speak because they knew him 35 and then in the morning rising up a great while before day he went out to a solitary place and prayed you can see this pattern repeated and simon and they that were with him followed him every pastor here and everybody who loves god may verse 37 be the verse for you and when they had found him they said unto him all men seek for thee they seek for you why because of the glory of god isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1 arise shine for thy light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you verse 2 says for darkness shall cover the earth is the hebrew word to who wabohu confusion and chaos and gross darkness the people but the lord shall arise upon you and his glory shall be seen in you jalingo here's a prophecy for you verse 3 it says gentiles shall come to your light and even their kings to the brightness of your rising are you ready to celebrate the god of wonders please rise up on your feet one prayer point and then i'll begin to pray for people father give me a visitation within the few minutes that we have let there be a manifestation of your glory upon this ground let there be a manifestation of your glory even within this city please lift your voice inside and outside begin to pray go ahead and pray you're not a man no you're not a man no you're the god who opens doors no man can shut you're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. You're the God of everything. No one like you. No one like you, Jesus. No one like you. No one like you, is it? No one like you. No one like you, Father, no one like you, Master. You're the God of everything, no one like you. Go ahead and pray. Lord, change my life. Change my life. Someone is praying. pray open up your heart you who are following from whatever TV station following online from your homes release your faith the power of God is about to touch you you are here working miracles I worship you, I worship you, you are here, turning lives around, I worship you, I worship you, we call you Waymaker, Miracle Walk, Promise King. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. We call you Waymaker, Miracle Walker, Promise Keeper. Light in the darkness, that is who you are. I assure you that within the few minutes we have, your life will never be the same. Many of you are about to encounter grace at another level and at another dimension. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, please listen. We're just going to do three or four things very quickly. Number one, just help those under the anointing. I'm going to be praying for the sick and we'll be trusting the Lord to deliver the oppressed every kind of captivity whatsoever. Hallelujah. And then number two, we're going to be praying prophetically, declaring over Jalingo that the two-lived gates over this city must be opened. Number three, we are going to trust God for a moment of impartation. And impartation is a transference of grace. And then number four, we are going to declare over everyone here, celebrating salvation, and we are done for tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, just two quick instructions, please. Number one, whether you are an usher or not, inside and outside, please help those under the anointing the ushers are limited and there's only so much they can do but i want to plead with you please when someone is under the anointing close to you be your brother's keeper you just help them it will not interrupt your own prayer the lord wants to have a convocation of his presence in this place in the name of jesus christ praise the name of the lord i believe in miracles I truly believe in the performance of the word. I believe that the word of God must find expression. I believe that in the midst of God's people, having taught the word with power, there must be a demonstration of the reality of the power and the grace of God. And don't just watch and celebrate what God is doing, that your heart is also opened for this to become your experience. In the name of Jesus Christ, can you pray in one minute lord anything that must live my life now this is a moment for it to go go ahead and pray thank you jesus hallelujah now i want to pray for you please pay attention pay attention there are angelic activities in this place now the bible says but upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and then the sons of jacob shall possess their possessions i want to pray right now and please i want you to help them just bring those under the anointing if you can and I'll minister to them so that they can go. But I want to declare there are forces that have sat over the destinies of men that will not let men to find visibility. Some of you age-long captivities. I want to pray for you. Now the Lord is that spirit. There are many spirits, but this one is that spirit. And the Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Father, I want to pray. At the count of three, I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus. That name that has been exalted above every other name. And as you shout that name, every force that is not ordained of God, sitting over the destinies of men, that wall must come down right now. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Now I decree and declare that every power that is not of God give way now. I command every force that does not name the name of Christ. Let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. Bring them up. I command every power every operation of witchcraft every demonic orchestration be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now bring 
them out. Listen. Can I tell you this? The Lord is delivering people here. There are many of you who have been victims of delay. Everything moves forward except your life. I decree and declare. Let fire right now fall from heaven upon every In the name of Jesus Christ, everyone bow. Everyone bow of the devil. I command be delivered now. Be set free in the name of Jesus. Bring them out. Just help them. Just get something so you can cover some of the in the name of Jesus Christ and pray blotting every handwriting he says and every ordinance that spoke against us that he nailed it to his cross therefore I declare every other spirit having access to your life and destiny outside outside of the Christ in the name of Jesus the son of the living God exalted over Chalingo as both Lord and Christ be delivered now! Be delivered now! Be delivered now! My deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by Your deliverer is coming Your deliverer is standing by My deliverer is coming My deliverer is standing by Now hear me I'm praying for families here Any family here that doors have been shut I come by the apostolic and the prophetic in agreement with the body of Christ the Anglican communion and the church over Chalingo in the name of Jesus I speak to close doors Efata be open be open be open be open be open be open How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, the Bible says, with the Holy Ghost and with power, he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil. It says, for God was with him. Now for all of you in front, alongside those who are scattered around, every spirit that will not let you go, whatever legal access it cast over you, we come by the blood of the eternal covenant that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Be set free now, 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 now. Be set free by the power of Jesus. All hail the power of Jesus' name. It says, bring forth the royal diadem. We declare liberty right now. Let there be deliverances for everyone here. Hear me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Hey, everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be unto you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for the sick shortly. But who is Abraham? I'm hearing a name Abraham. Just to talk to one or two people. Abraham. Abraham. I'm hearing the name. Please, if, if God locates you, just hurry up so that we don't waste time. We have to work with time. Who is Abraham?
Where are you from, my friend? Huh? From Kogi State, I based Ko in Jaws. Kogi State? Yes, I based in Jaws. The Abraham I'm seeing is wearing a bag. Like a black bag. This is what I'm seeing. Is there someone like that? Who is that? Verify. Please, hold on. Please, when I call, just don't let people come at random. Just verify. We're not acting here. What's your name? Jacob Abraham. Jacob Abraham. Yes. From where? Taraba. Jalingo. I want to pray for you. Your life is about to change, my brother. What's wrong with this man? Huh? He's okay. blind. That's all right. When I'm ready to pray for the sick, don't just just wait. When I'm ready to pray for them, don't just drag them out. You you punish the man here. Now watch this, my friend. You believe in the power of God. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you, and I declare right now, may that power come upon you and change your life. Take that fire now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will never be the same by the power of the Holy Spirit. Never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Who is Asabe? I'm hearing a name Asabe. Is there someone with such a name? I'm hearing a name Asabe. The Lord wants me to speak to you. Asabe, that, that should be a woman's name. Is there someone like that? Asabe. Asabe, like blue, you are dressed in blue or something. Is there somebody like that? Who is that? Come. You believe in Jesus? Listen, please hear me. This is not just some, some madness and jamboree. No. We're people of order and dignity and decency. Are we together? This is the power of God blessing and lifting and helping people. In the name of Jesus, my dear, where are you coming from? Taraba. Taraba here. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil. I'm seeing something tied around you. Out now! In the name of Jesus Christ. And then comes to it. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost. Yesterday, I prayed for two women and today i'm seeing a woman seven years you have not given birth who is that seven years come your time has come seven years is there someone like that is she wearing like is it baby pink baby pink no there is still another one baby pink with a hair tie that is like baby pink is there someone like that? Just bring them here. I want to pray for you. Nadauka ka sunanka ubangi jika isaya bo na kirmama sunanka ubangi ji ni nadauka ka sunanka ubangi jika isaya bo. Look at me, madam. How long have you been married? Seven years. Huh? Seven years. I want to pray for you. You believe in Jesus? Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. It never tires me to see the wonder-working power of Jesus. Bringing liberty. Look at this, our precious sisters now. Just like that and that's the end of it that's what happens when his glory comes the power of god is going to come on one of you one of you who is standing now among these women i just saw light i will pray for everyone but i just saw the power of god and in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare let it be madam over now according to the time of life in the name of jesus who is the christ of god that which hinders you from giving birth we stand and we open the gates of your womb in the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Madam, look at me. This woman. Where is she coming from? Can Look at me, madam. Where are you coming from? This is Taraba. Taraba, what's your name? 
You believe in the power of God? Yes. How long have you waited? Seven years. Seven years. You believe God will touch you? Yes. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be over right now. Never to return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Now I pray for all of you who are here. The same way you stood here. By this time next year, you are standing before the people of God lifting your children. I declare this in the name of Jesus. I declare this. And every devil responsible, I command it goes now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help them please. Help them. Please help them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Barrenness is a spirit. It can go. It can hear the word of the Lord. Let me pray over this woman. Madam, look at me. Where are you coming from? Anambra State. You are from Anambra State? Yes, sir. How long have you waited? Four years. Four years? Yes, sir. You had a miscarriage? No, sir. Who had a miscarriage here? I'm seeing one person who had a miscarriage. This is recently. I want to pray for you. Who is that? Oh, dear. You are under the anointing. I, I rebuke. Listen. The miscarriage you had is the last one you will ever have. Can I pray for you? Madam? Huh? Yes. Hold on. I, well, I said seven years, but I need to pray for you. I'm not seeing you seven years. I'm seeing eight, nine, ten, eleven, getting to twelve years. How many yes, years? Sir. Eleven years getting to twelve by me. I need to pray for you. You believe in the power of God? Ah. I need to pray for your own is not even I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you inside a coffin. I have to pray for you. You have been having dreams like that. Is that true? Who is with the mic? Please give somebody, Victor, so you can do something else. Yes, sir. How many, what, what's wrong? What's the issue there? Who is there? What's wrong with the woman? What's the issue? Call that woman for me. Who is going back? Madam, what's the issue? You're also trusting for the fruit of the womb? Yes, I had a miscarriage recently. You, ha you had a miscarriage? Yes. Where are you from? I'm from Taraba, but I stayed in Mubi. Okay. I want to pray for you. You've been having dreams, seeing yourself inside coffee. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. I want to pray Anywhere for you. I go, the spirit of death. M don't worry, madam. This is why you came. You see why it's good to come to the house of God? In the name of Jesus, O oh death, where is your sting? And O oh grave, where is your victory? I decree and declare over you, madam, be delivered from the power of death. And even after 11 years, please place your hand on your stomach. I don't care what the medical situation is. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the Lord God whose I am and whom I serve, according to the time of life, like Eli spoke to Hannah, return with your miracle children. In the name of Jesus. My sister, please place your hand on your stomach. I want to pray for you. Don't be embarrassed, but... God needs to take something out of your stomach first before we even pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands towards you and I declare by the mercy of God, everything that is not of God, it leaves you right now. And for, I'm, see, I'm seeing more people, I use you as a point of contact to pray for every other woman here, trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus, your days of waiting come to an end now. Your days of waiting come to an end now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jonah, please return to your seat. Jonah, I'm about to pray for the sick now. Jonah, I'm hearing a name Jonah. Is there someone like that? Jonah. Jonah. If you're Jonah, please just very quickly let me speak to you. And then we're going to pray. There is a whole family that came here. The Lord wants me to touch them. You are five, five of you who came for this program. Five of you, you came from the same house. Five people, members of a family. Where are you? One, two, three. This is them. Come, all of you. God is giving you a visitation. Hold on, please. Come. Please don't come at random. Huh? Your name is Jonah. Where are you coming from? Huh? I'm Jonah. Jonah. Yes. Sir. Let me just pray for Jonah. But I'm seeing a family of five. I want to pray for you. Huh? 
who are here i'm not saying if you are five forever five in this meeting okay five bishop okay we're going to pray for bishop where, where are bishops the the five people please come i just want to speak over you please make sure if you are not part of this don't worry we have to hurry up jonah i want to pray for you you love jesus in the name of jesus christ i pray for all of you i just saw light come on one of you the power of god is coming on one of you okay just leave them i'll pray for them in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare i saw the power of god coming on one of you right now in the name of jesus by that anointing i declare everything eating your body in the name of sickness my friend look at me i'm about to pray for the sick but i minister to you right now in the name of jesus that which is eating of your body let it live right now in jesus name this is a family of five i pray for you in the name of jesus and these adorable children i decree and declare what do you do sir hold on what am i i'm looking at you and in the realm of the spirit i'm seeing a dog i'm seeing a cow i'm seeing animals what do you do give him the mic i'm a veterinary Let doctor someone, huh? i'm a veterinary doctor you're a veterinary doctor yes the lord is lifting please please you can go back don't worry everyone there please just go back Kukoma, just go back i will pray for everybody please just honorably go back if not we'll have a lot of chaos here now someone just help me organize them gently just go back don't worry even if you are five just receive where you are please the hall is limited and all of this you know that if we have people here um it will require a, 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 a this one if you come out here now in this whole place is is it will be it will be rowdy so we're praying in the name of jesus i pray for you by the power of the holy spirit the lord revealed that you are a vet doctor and i'm praying for you may things turn around in your life right now in the name of jesus go from glory to glory in the name of jesus jonah receive the power of god let things turn around in your life in jesus name and i pray for our bishop and and his family no, don't kneel please don't kneel just stand just stand just stand in the name of jesus christ is this all sir there's one more i'm seeing there's one more who is not here huh graces please come out where is he well, oh, don't worry okay if he's at the back that's all right no problem but we're praying I, I just saw more than this in the name of jesus we stand and we agree and we decree and declare over every one of these children we pray the power of god is going to come on one of your child right now i'm just seeing it in a vision there is one of you there is an elevation coming this is what i'm seeing and the power of god is coming right now on one of them you will start having strange prophetic dreams and even prophetic encounters this is this is supernatural i stretch my hands and i declare in jesus name please allow him allow him help help her please in the name of jesus christ we decree and declare the lord brings visitation to this family in the mighty name of jesus everything that needs to change we declare that it changes now and every dimension of grace required to lift this family beyond this realm in jesus name i decree and declare right now let there be that miracle you will return back full of the grace of god full of the power of the holy spirit in jesus name i pray amen and amen god bless you can i pray for the sick now we have to hurry up our time is gone there is a man of god here i just saw light come upon that man there is a shift about to start for you in, in your ministry there is a shift for you marvelous shift happening to you and i've seen the holy spirit is directing me to stand here 
there is someone here one of these people please bring that person the power of god is coming on one person here or the people here like i don't know if it's a minister Fear not, O warm Jacob, for the Lord is beginning a new thing in your life. Do ministry with integrity. Do ministry loving the Lord. My, are, are you a pastor? You are a pastor here in Jalingo? Where are you coming from? Takum, Tarabaste. Takum. Where is that? Takum. Okay. Look at me. I stretch my hands. May you drink of this wine of the Spirit. You will never be the same. Fire on you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help him. Just hold him. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for the one day under the anointing too, I stretch my hands over you. May the Lord give you a visitation. May you never be the same. Some of you are drinking of prophetic wines. We are going to do an impartation shortly. But I need to pray for the sick. Don't bring them out. Don't worry. Our time is up. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, how many people are trusting God for a miracle here? Lay your hands right now. Please lay your hands. I want to pray for the sick. Here's what we'll do. We just have five, ten minutes for this. Now, when I pray, I'm going to declare over you by the Spirit. And some of you are already healed. Right from yesterday, even on to this moment, whilst the word was coming. Please, I want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. You can also stand in for someone that you know and you love. Hallelujah. Now, when I pray, listen, I know that our time is gone, but we'll take a few minutes to celebrate miracles in Jalingo here. And the moment I pray, I'm going to give you an opportunity. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, I want you to run only those who have been healed have been touched please let there be a few ministers to so just vex them let's have a few people here so we can have a few testimonies and then we'll wrap up with the impartation as i pray i'd like you to agree with me with a loud amen are we together please lay your hands now a lady is going to shout right now under the anointing loud to the hearing of everyone the moment that happens the healing power of jesus will begin to move That's not the shout. The shout is coming. Sometimes, I don't know why God does these things, but they are signs and wonders. He does it to bring glory to the name of the Lord. It's a very loud shout. Now I can pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, challenge go ahead. Believe in Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ inside and outside following online in the name of jesus christ i rebuke every spirit behind infirmity those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out now in the name that is above all names every devil of infirmity i curse you from the bodies of god's people in the name of jesus christ now I decree and declare be healed right now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus blind eyes open now deaf ears be opened now if you're holding a crutch or you're in a wheelchair stand up now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ every bone condition be healed now in the name of Jesus there's someone you don't hear well with your left ear the power of God is touching you right now the power of God is touching you right now there's someone your legs I don't know what happened to your legs but check it now a miracle has happened to you in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing the Lord heal several cases of pile severe cases of pile be healed now in the name of Jesus 
peptic ulcer be healed now there's someone you have a I don't know what situation you have with your heart the power of God is touching you right now severe migraine pounding headache the power of God is touching you right now I'm seeing someone like you have ulcer but it's like a complicated case of ulcer in the name of Jesus be healed right now someone you removed one of your molars after the prayer check it now you will see a miracle there I'm seeing one, two, three, at least four women. There, there are multiple lumps, breast lumps. For one of you, I'm seeing the left side of your breast. I command that devil to leave your body now. Every growth, every cyst, every malignant growth that must leave your body, I command it to leave your body now. Rheumatoid arthritis be healed now back pain the Lord is showing me someone around the lumbar area here you've been having severe pain I don't know what the problem is but right now the power of God is touching you someone your arm you are unable to lift I don't know what happened and for how long right now as I pray in Jesus name may the power of God touch you in fact there is someone here when you came you could not see very clearly you could not see from a distance after this prayer you will open your eyes and you'll be surprised that there will be a restoration of your vision the Lord is showing me someone you had a dream and in that dream is as if someone hit you with an object from that day you've had recurrent sicknesses right now may the power of God touch you now for the sake of time whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus who has been exalted as both Lord and Christ be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now now here's what I want you to do my God there are so many miracles here I want you to check yourself right now the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you that you could do what you could not do before I'd like you to come out rejoicing right now very quickly let's check them those outside if they are coming for the miracles to testify please allow them please allow them very quickly let's do that very quickly please let's do that very quickly let's do that very quickly let's do that very quickly my god are you seeing people come out miracles are happening in this place Jalingo is this how you celebrate miracles Keep coming. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? The name above every other name, what can you change? What can you change? Jesus, you are able, great and mighty God, you are able, Jesus, one more time, you are able, great and mighty God. Hallelujah. Do you have a mic there? Yes, sir. Yes, go ahead. Apostle, he has been suffering from ulcer. From ulcer? Yes. What's your name? Gaston. Please sit for a moment. What's your name, sir? My name Please is... keep coming as God is... Okay. My name is Mekel Shata. For how long? Since last year. What last happened year. to you now? On Saturday, I was... Are you seeing miracles happening in this place? I was coughing blood on Saturday. You were coughing blood on Saturday? Yes, I do too. And right now? Breathe in and out. Any pain? Any pain? Completely gone. I stretch my hands. It never returns to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Very quickly. She had lungs. 
Lungs. Yes, and when you give the word, how long? What's your name, my dear? Three months. Where where was the lump? On your legs. Yes. Sir. Come, my God. And it's gone. Where was it? Let's have another mic. Can you help us? Where was it? Oh, you can even see. Even, even to when you came in here. Yes, sir. What happened? And I was not even, even to go uh, move. I was not able to move. And right now. Right now. I run. Run. Turn back. Run. Any pain. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Very quickly. Apostle, this is the case of severe migraine headache. Severe migraine. Yes, sir. For how long? For some days now. For some days. Yes. And the Lord has healed you now. In the name of Jesus, we give God glory for your miracle. It never returns again. Yes, please. Very quickly. She couldn't bend her knee. But you, when you get... You couldn't bend your knee. For how long? Okay, right now. Do it. She couldn't bend her knees. It's gone. Completely gone. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Just help those under the anointing. Yes, please. Go ahead. Someone help. Let's make this very, very fast. Please, let's, let's do this fast. This is a case of ulcer, sir. Ulcer? Yes. It's gone. No more pain. Nothing. How long has it been? October last week. And right now? Uh, and back pain disappeared. And back pain. Bend down. Check yourself. Any pain? Gone completely. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Yes, please. Very quickly. Next person. Someone can help to be just checking so that one person does the announcement well. Okay. This is the case of pounding headache. And, Head and tooth pain. And tooth pain. How long has this been? Three weeks. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. It will never return to you again. Amen. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Wow, 17 years ulcer and migraine headache. For 17 years? Yes. And what happened to you tonight? When you were praying, I felt as if there was a bone that was taken out of me. As if something left you. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, it remains permanent. It never returns again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please, very quickly. This is the case of Aenea. Hyenia for more than 10 years. Hyenia? Yes. Medically verified? Yes, sir. Okay. In his neck, at the back of his neck, gone. Completely. It's gone right now. My God. Yes, sir. It will never return to you again in Jesus' name. Yes, please, very quickly. Very quickly, please. One can be doing the verification while another takes the testimony, so we'll save time. There are two mics there. We may not be able to, oh my God, there's so many miracles. Let's just take a few striking ones so that we can do the impartation and then we're done. This is a miracle, Apostle. What happened? She has been having pain in her left breast. Let her talk. Madam, what's your name? My name is Lois. From where? Here in Taraba? Yes, sir. Okay, what happened to you? My breast is pain me. For how long? Since last year. And what happened now? It's completely. Yes, sir. No pain. Yes, sir. Check it. No pain completely. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare that pain lives forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Who brought this little boy? I'm the little boy had headache. Had he what? He was having headache. He came himself? Yes. Can you imagine that? What is your name? God love. Oh dear, what a smart boy. May God make you a mighty man in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be like the princess in the palace. In Jesus' name. Yes, please, very quickly. She could not open her jaw because of pain due to the Come. removal of her teeth. But now you she couldn't can... open your... But now she can do that. Also... You couldn't do this? Yes, sir. For how long? Ten days today. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare healing for you. Yeah. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Apostle, he has headache. She has headache and leg pain. And leg pain. Yes. And for, you prayed 
For how long? It's for like a month. A month. It's gone completely. I'm seeing someone, I don't know if he's inside or outside, but they brought the person, it was like some sort of mental condition. The power of God has touched that person right now. The power of God has touched that person supernaturally. Yes, please. She had ear problem before. Her left ear. But now she can Your hear left her ear. And the chest pain. For how long? It's been more than five months. The ear, but the chest. When I came yesterday, I used to have this ulcer issue. But when I came yesterday, I felt so much pain in my chest. I managed to go home. I even bought drugs. I wanted to take it today. But during the prayers, I felt relief. The chest is And right no now, it's gone, it's gone completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. This Very is simple. a case of ulcer. She couldn't breathe as a result of the ulcer pain. Ulcer. But now, in the name of Jesus. Let's just see how we can just take maybe three or four more. Eight years and then ulcer. I'll pray for all. Sorry, we may not have the time for all of them so that we can work with time. Yes, please. Eight years ulcer. God. Ulcer. The of God. God. In the name of Jesus Christ, it disappears right now. Yes, please. Apostle. She could not lift her hands up before. But as you couldn't lift your hands before. Yes. What has happened Let her speak. Huh? My hands, this is my shoulder. Yes. Yes, now, more than two years now. I cannot lift it up. I can it's paining me. Let the devil see you lift it up. In the name of Jesus. This Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Yes, go ahead. Pain in the ear. Pain in for, the ear. Yes, for over six months now. You say six weeks. Pain six now. weeks. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Gone forever. Yes, please. This is an affliction of the legs. He had it, it was as though pepper was on his legs and on chains. But right now, now. Yeah, but now check yourself. Any pain? Any pain? Completely gone. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power of God touches you right now. In Jesus' name. Also yes. for 15 years. Also gone. for 15 the glory years. Of God. Gone. Let's have, can we have just one, one or two more and then we're done? Just one or two more. I apologize. Just be patient. You can give the testimony in other sessions. It doesn't matter through who the testimony comes. The most important thing is that Jesus is lifted. Yes, please. Man of God, I've been operated on two of my breasts two times. I went for two operations. Long. You've been operated? Twice. So the operation was not correct. Last three years, I went to the village. Around 9 p.m., a bee from nowhere stink me in my right hand breast. Since then... Anytime, it, when I was coming, I held the breast like this because it was paining me severely. And the pain will extend down to my hands, down to my And right now, what happened? The thing just disappeared. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be perfection for you. That everything that does not name the name of Christ, let it leave you right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Can we have one more? Okay, he, has, he had an accident and he's... Vein was caught. What's your name, my friend? Grand Peter. You had an accident. Yeah. How long ago? One year ago. What happened to you? It's an accident, sir. And then what happened? My vein at the back of the cut off three times. Your vein was cut off? Yes. Did you go to the hospital? Yeah, I couldn't work for one year. You couldn't work for one year. Yes. What happened to you tonight? Uh, I feel killing and disbalance. Come. What couldn't you do before? What couldn't you do before? You couldn't walk. Go ahead, walk now. Lift your legs. Oh, I see the accident place. Check yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be perfection for you right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. His knee, sir. His knee. His knee. Yes, sir. Perfection for your knees right now. In I'm Jesus' name. Now, for everyone, I'm so sorry, we may have to stop here. But in the name of Jesus, for all the healings and all the miracles and everything that he has done, only you are worthy of my praise. I magnify your name for the things you have done and the battles you have won. Only you are worthy of 
have my praise i magnify your name please rise up on your feet it's time to receive we have to walk with time many years ago the lord jesus christ appeared to me and in the encounter that i had with the lord jesus christ it never tires me to tell my story and i say this because of the mandates that came from that encounter light came from jesus to me light at its brilliance entered into me and from that time in a separate encounter the lord gave me an instruction and he said to every city and every nation that i send you to there must be someone in that meeting that the light that came from me to you must come upon them One of the ways that we access the anointing is through impartation. Impartation is a transference of spiritual possibilities. When God sends a word to Jacob, it is because he intends for it to be lighted upon Israel. And we stand here tonight not by any qualification or merit of ourselves. The Bible says that our sufficiency is of Christ who has made us able ministers after the new covenant for the letter kill it it says but the spirit gives life but please hear me if you can believe tonight and you open your heart you will marvel and wonder at what the grace of god can do we are not the inventors of this grace we are only recipients for we ourselves have received from those who have gone ahead of us mantles are falling here tonight anointings are falling here tonight graces are resting here tonight for the kings to arise for revival to return for the kings to be born for revival to return, yeah. Ali, Ali, oh, Ali, oh, Ali, Ali, oh, 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 Ali, Ali, oh, Ali, oh, In the name of Jesus, there are prophetic fountains here that need to be open i stretch my hands that everyone who must drink of prophetic wells help them in the name of jesus i stretch my hands take that fire now take that fire now there are deborahs that must arise where are the women of power intercessors prophetic intercessors that must arise over the territory of chalingo i call you by prophecy arise by the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help them please. I decree and declare. There is a grace for revelation. I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit. The revelatory grace. There are men who desire access. And illumination into scripture. I stretch my hands. Keparoskati May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. The grace for miracles, signs, wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing the number 27. Upon 27 people here. May this grace find you now. The grace for prophetic intercession. The capacity to hold on to the four horns of the altar and pray revival to your territory. May that grace rest upon you now. The grace for influence and visibility. There is such a grace that can give a man influence and visibility. I declare may that grace come upon you now. May that grace come upon you now. The 
favor of the Lord. Oh, there is such a grace for favor. I decree and declare, like a man, let it rest upon ministries, let it rest upon businesses, let it rest upon men and women of God, let it rest upon career people, in the name of Jesus Christ. Darling, go hear the word of the Lord. I speak over the two lift gates of this city. In the name that is above all names, I come by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic in partnership with the Anglican communion and the entire body of Christ over this region. We speak over every closed gate. Lift up your heads. All ye gates. Taraba. Chalingo, lift up your heads, all ye gates, and be ye lifted, everlasting doors, and let the King of glory come in. We declare triumphant entry into this city in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your government and all your legislators. In the name of Jesus, we impart upon them wisdom. Wisdom to lead this state aright by the power of the Holy Spirit. The wisdom to not allow the compromises across the political scene to infect them. That they will lead with dignity and integrity. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for every businessman here. In the name that is above all names, step into a new season of glory. I use the platform of the Anglican communion here to pray for every church in Jalingo here. The body of Christ, every prayer group, every prophetic apostolic platform, men and women who continue to lift up the name of Jesus like a united force. Body of Christ advance over this territory advance over this territory in the name of Jesus Christ every sense of disunity within the body of Christ we declare that the spirit of disunity falls like Dagon before the ark in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for those who are students in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead Receive the grace to excel and finish strong. If there is any spirit sent to this territory to thwart the purposes of God, we stand as a united force and we decree and declare in the name of Jesus over Jalingo, Jesus is Lord. Over Jalingo, Jesus is King. Over Jalingo, Jesus is Savior. Every local government, every place within this region will call upon the name of the Lord God of Heaven in the name of Jesus. And we pray for everyone in Jalingo, Christians, Muslims, it doesn't matter the religion. We bless you with the blessings of the God of Heaven. God is not the God of Christians alone. He is the God of all flesh. We pray for everyone regardless religion. We pray for everyone regardless your political affiliation. Because of this conference, Jalingo, you are blessed in Jesus' name. Go from glory to glory to glory to glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, I'm wrapping up. We attract the attention of investors we attract the attention of developers over your region we call them by prophecy that by this time next year may there be massive projects over your land and anyone who will come into this city to disturb your peace disturb your progress we build a wall of fortification and we command the forces in this city to drive them out in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now please hear me this conference continues powerfully 
and all through the remaining part of this conference i like for your heart to be open i like for you to be intentional about receiving from the lord it is important for you to know that this is more than a, a conference hosted by the anglican communion this is a visitation god stepping into a city and in the name of jesus christ we declare that the reason why he came will be fulfilled that indeed it will be a greater glory even for jalingo for taraba and for the northeast by extension in the name of jesus bishop the lord bless you the lord honor you and your wife the lord honor the entire pastorate of the anglican communion let it be for you from glory to glory in jesus name i pray god bless you dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaskade bashkana kata branda kate katos. Kate branda kata pakotos koto pray kate kate kata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.